Hello there, everyone. My name is Mr. Vosters, and uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make some blocks for activity 1.3.6, and then we will section them to check our work. So these are the two different blocks we'll be making. So to start, I'm going to go into my IED folder, click on my 1.3 folder, and then I'm going to create a new document. I'll title that 1.3.6, section that, click the create button, and from here I'm just going to do some sketches on the top plane. I'm going to go ahead and hide all these planes, orient my view to the top, and then we're going to start by making uh, the one from the worksheet that is labeled B. So to start, I'm going to actually on second thought, I'm going to start with the one that's, in my opinion, a little trickier titled Section A. So to start, I'm going to create a center rectangle. We'll make it. Mm, I think maybe like nine by six. So nine by six. You know, these on the worksheet that I've got here, they're not really dimensioned. So I'm just going to be kind of making up some dimensions to make it look somewhat similar to this worksheet. So then we have a circle that's going kind of out here, maybe like that and then we're going to create another circle that's centered somewhere over here this one i should probably dimension this circle let's just do 5.5 .5. and that way we can create another identically sized circle over here so over here do 5.5 .5. And then I'm going to dimension it to the center here. Let's make it uh, one inch from the center. This one will do about 1.5 from there. Then we're going to create another circle, kind of right in the center of this one, like that. We'll just make that one a diameter of two. And then from here, all we need to do is create a line from there to there. Clicking this, I'm hitting the escape key to kind of uh, get off the line tool so I can make a new line. Here, I'm just going to do a quick tangent constraint. So I'll go tangent there, tangent there. Then all I need to do is some trims. So in our drawing, we can see that this one's trimmed, this is trimmed, and so is that one. So that looks pretty good. I can click the green check, go to my isometric, and see we have pretty much the drawing that we want. Now I'm just going to extrude the different parts of it up. So here I'm thinking this should probably be 4.5 or so. Again, these are estimations. So we've got that section, which is the tallest. Then we're going to extrude some of these other sections. So we have to bring back sketch one. We'll bring this one up to a depth of, hmm, how about, 3.5. Does that look about right? What about 3.75? Click the green check. Then the last one that we need to extrude up is going to be this little slice right here. And that one we can bring up to 
The last one we did to 3.75. Let's do this one to 3. Click the green check. And then we have basically our shape. And this is an approximation. But I'm just going off of the worksheet we have here. So if I orient to any of my views, it should kind of match my drawing. And I'm actually going to change some of these extrudes. Let's go 3.5. So that's an inch. And then we'll go 2.5. And that's going to look a little closer to my drawing. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we have it. And then last thing we're going to do, we're going to do a section view from this plane. And we're going to go in until we're about halfway, which in our case will be negative three. Click the green check, go back to our isometric, and that is our section view. We can hide, hide uh, sketch one there. So your section view on your worksheet should look basically identical to this. The only thing I would change is this vertical line right here. Really does not need to be there because that circle is tangent to this line. So they kind of blend together. But you should actually have an edge here. Just not going vertical like there. So what I want you to do to finish is take a screenshot of the section view. It should look identical to this. You want to make sure your section view or your screenshot, sorry, does include your name. So I want to make sure that I have Mr. Vosters in the top right there. And you want to make sure you have your name. So that screenshot's going to be part of what you submit. Let's go ahead and create a new part studio. This one, we're going to create the other side of the worksheet. This is the one labeled section BB. So again, we're going to start with a sketch on the top face. Let's go ahead and hide all of our other faces, orient to our top of our view cube. Start with a center point rectangle again. This one we're going to do 12 by 4. Once again, we don't really have great dimensions on this. So I'm just going to kind of guesstimate so that it looks similar. Here we're going to create another rectangle within our rectangle. This one's kind of off center. We'll do it. Uh, let's do 6 by 3.5. We'll dimension it a little bit. So we want to make sure this is 0.25 from the edge. Then from this edge, we'll go, let's just go 1.5 inches. Let's go 2 here, actually. Shift it over a little bit. Then we're going to draw a few circles. I'm going to draw the first one just kind of over here. That's going to be a 0.5 diameter circle. Then we have another circle that's right at the center here. That's going to have a diameter of 2. Then we're going to draw yet another circle out here. That's going to have a diameter of, let's go, 1. Let's add a few dimensions here just so that everything is kind of constrained. So that yours is just like mine. That'll be 0.75. That looks pretty good. And let's go for this one. Let's dimension from the center to this edge. We'll do one inch. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a few lines to make that shape over here. I'm hitting the escape key there. And then I'm just going to go back to my line tool. I want to line it up with that one, like so. And then we're going to add a, another line connecting those. Let's dimension these real quick. So from the center to here, let's make that, mm, how about two? It might be a little bit too big, but again, we don't really have dimensions to go off of. I'm going to trim this. Uh, and then let's try to... These aren't dimensioned. Oh, we need to make them tangent. So tangent here and here, tangent here and here. Luckily, I didn't get an error. You really should make them tangent before you do the trim. Uh, otherwise, you could run into some issues potentially there. I got lucky. So from here, let's click the green check. And then we're going to do basically what we did on the last one. 
So we're going to extrude these up. I'll try to do that pretty quickly. So this one will extrude it up an inch. That will bring then we'll bring back our sketch one, extrude the other components up. So this will extrude up 0.5. Click the green check. Then we're going to extrude our circle. This is going to go up 1.5. And it looks like you're almost done, but if you look carefully on your worksheet, this little piece here is actually extruded up, let's say 0.25. It's up, it's up just a little bit from that bottom surface. And uh, that looks pretty good, actually. We can turn off sketch one. Let's go back to our isometric, hitting shift seven. Let's do a section view here. Since we made it... Uh, four wide we can just do negative two click the green check orient to your front view and your worksheet should look identical to this i'm just going to do a quick screenshot there you go and that's what you're going to submit all right hopefully you enjoyed the video uh, make sure you're liking and subscribing that helps out a lot or so they tell me Okay, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.